Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I'm Mike. Dan, gorgeous looking bottle here, looks familiar, might not be, who knows. What are we drinking? <laughs> uh, we've definitely had this beer uh, sure. before, but sure in that? a different variation. Are you sure about yeah. that? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, so this is from the Dogfish Head Brewing Company. This is their 120 minute IPA. Gotta be and, fresh as uh, hell. Actually, we'll get to that part. Oh, okay. okay. So, yeah, you always know you're a big ABV beers with Dogfish Head. They put this kind of warning cap on. Uh, so, yeah, Dogfish Head uh, is out of Milton, uh, Delaware. I think and, they're out uh, of Sam Adams at this point. Yeah, so it's in collaboration <laughs> with Boston Beer Company. They kind of bought out Dogfish yeah. Head. So, uh, but anyways... Uh, this is the 2022 variant, and uh, it comes in at 16.6 ABV. So, in May, so from the time of filming, about two months ago, right? Because we're in August. Yes. Uh, we reviewed the 2017 variant. And Correct. Boy, that was pretty that dang good. was a beer. Um, so, 120 my IPA, for me, is something I was late to the game with. Mm -hmm. Didn't really ever get into it. And the first time I ever had one was aged. And I said, whoa. Um, so I tried one fresh and I said, woof. And <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll get into it. We'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk about it as we sip. Uh, but yeah, I, I love the label. It's, it's just sexy. The gold They've the changed it and... over the years. It used to be a tan label yeah. on there. Uh, on the side, it says, uh, what you have here is the holy grail for hop heads. This beer is continually hopped for 120 minutes uh, in the boil and then dry hopped for over a month. Enjoy now or age for a decade or so. I have some getting close. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Th so this beer comes courtesy of uh, good pal, uh, Frank. As we have spent <laughs> since 2017 buying bottles of this, just look at that, like amber... There is some just sedentary stuff just in there. Uh, we've been buying bottles and opening one a year to I, see what I, happens. I may have sniffed this. I don't blame you. Uh, obviously, we've had this before, uh, oh but my. different variations. So, this is akin to Bigfoot, right? Bigfoot's your big yeah. American barley wine style ale. Uh, they say IPA, but it's you know very much yeah. American barley wine at this point can be very hoppy. Uh, it's almost too much to handle fresh for some people oh, man. Uh, with age. Uh, let's uh, talk about what you're feeling, it, what uh, your thoughts are. So every year that Frank and I open one of these, I feel like it gets more like a liquor. <laughs> it just seems to like settle and become this like syrupy bit of goodness. And right now on the nose, like you can smell an IPA in there. Mm -hmm. But if you told someone, hey, it's an American barley wine, uh, I'd be okay with that, too. Uh, like, I, I feel like you're getting so many just robust notes in there. It, it is the... It is the, 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 the It's a the, freaking fruitcake. It's like the biggest, there. maltiest bomb yeah. of hops. Like, think about, like, a, a traditional, like, West Coast IPA, right? Yeah. But, like, that super malty, caramelly kind of variant, and just, uh... Yeah. Like, you know immediately you're in for something large with this beer. Oh, this beer is large and in charge, my friend. And, Dan, did we use the right glasses I for this so. beer? I, I think, think we so. did, Nice too. little tasters, uh, little fancy good. kind of gold Look rim on top. Look at all that garbage. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I don't know. If it I don't know, but it, it looks beautiful. Let's get yeah, there's a bunch of shit. All in the there. settling stuff. Oh. Uh let's let's dive into this bad boy. <laughs> Cheers. Pick Thanks, up. Frank. Um, I did fail to mention. Wow. Um <laughs> I failed to mention wow as well. <laughs> no, I failed to mention that uh the ABV does rotate each year. Yeah, every year. So it's, it's different. Not, it's, so, it's different. Yeah. 16.6. First set, first thing comes to me. <sighs> is this thing is still pretty hot still pretty hoppy um first step i really enjoy however we had that 2017 and i think i enjoy that better right off the rip but let's dive into this and really oh man get into it oh oh give me that cigarette after the sex baby 
I just made one to this. <laughs> Someone's going to clip that and be like, <laughs> we will probably. We'll make a short on it. Uh, yeah, it's like you can, if you've had fresh 120, you can definitely tell that this has that age on it where it's starting to settle in mm -hmm. those uh, IPA flavors, aromas, that fresh hop are starting to die down and you're getting more of um, the stone fruits, the breads, the malts, it, almost like a, like I said before, the liquor aspect is coming out. It's, it's maturing. It's changing and blossoming into what it definitely becomes. Um... I think that this is almost too hot to handle for the camera, as I got a notification that our camera is overheating. So we'll see what happens. It may <laughs> shut off. Um, We've been 4 k it all day. Yeah, so we have been 4 k it all day. I thought it like cool off enough. But anyways, um, yeah, man, this is... So it uh, the citrus aspect, mm -hmm. very kind of marmalade. Yes. Uh, aspect, jammy. Jammy. Mm -hmm. uh, apricot. Mm -hmm. Deep uh, nectarine uh, kind of stone fruit. Uh, some of that peach in there. Very, very fresh, like you're peeling the skin up. Like you, you almost expect like that's bits of rind in there and skin in there. And, yeah. and everything is just tossed in fresh. It's hot though. Oh, it's, it's hot. It's, it's a good it's, kind of hot though. Okay, here's the deal, man. If you like a really hoppy beer or if you're a fan of like Bigfoot or whatever, you've never had this, I definitely say get it. Um, it's, man, it's so cider-like. Like a deep, it dark is. cider. It is. And um, I highly recommend it. If you do get some, like yeah. get enough where you can let it set for a while. Like right. it, it's it's so much fun letting this beer sit for years and mm. seeing what it does and how it matures. Because it does become just like a completely different beer. And God forbid you got some of those Utopia Sparrow ones. It's a quintessential sipper. Um, here's mm -hmm. the thing. Am I thoroughly enjoying this? It's an enjoyable experience, but I've had it aged longer, and I definitely enjoy those more. Do I think I would crack this open knowing this is what it tastes like now? And I, I don't know. It's a toss between because you may like where it's at, but I think I'd let. I'd be like, no, we'll let it sit at least a couple more years. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. Uh, I've had so many of them over the years where it's like, and I've had certain times where I'm like, I don't know if this is any good, like. I think I like a different year better, but um, I would absolutely crack this on this. Yeah. Okay. I know the, I think it was the 23, like we had a, we had a 2017 and a 23 Utopia Sparrow one. They were almost identical. Okay. Like it was unreal. Um, I don't know. I feel like this, uh, you want to sit and sip on it, but oh, yeah. really it's, the body is very full, obviously. Uh, it's kind of hot. Uh, a boozy kind of mouthfeel and, and, and back end of the palate. Um, yeah, but it's just like, it's all the malt with a bit of pine in there, the <sighs> piney bitterness. I should, I say bit, it's, it's a it's shit ton. A lot. It's like licking the sap on a pine tree and then just chewing into some like nice deep uh, citrus and stone fruits. Uh, I think this 12 ounce bottle is a perfect amount to share like yeah. this. Like, what, what do you, what do you rate this? This variant as it oh, sits man. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it at man, it's high four for me. I'll I'll say four four. Okay. Um, because I, I definitely think it's not peak, but it's far from a little red. Bad. I'm it's, getting a little red berry now. Yeah, it's a little red berry. Sure. Um I'll give this uh probably a four three as mm -hmm. it is right now. I think it's a, a damn good, and you're right. The age is slowly starting to creep in. It's kind of changing things a little bit. Um, I uh, said, yeah. I mean, you could probably fit it all the way up there, but, you know, we'll definitely try. <laughs> I'm not opposed to that. Uh, well, so, as yeah. expected, the camera took a downer, and uh, we had to give it a little break. Uh, huh? Oh, yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, look how I was saying about this. Like, um, really, I prefer it with more age on it. It's still a very fine beer right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, very pleasant to drink. Uh, definitely that fruity aspect is coming out. Yep, yep. The fruit cake, the bready notes. It's, yeah. it's a different beer. I don't know. It's such a, it's a weird beer because it, it's always changing. So you never know like what it's going to be and when you're going to like it more. So, just 
get a bunch, save some, open some. Do it. And right now, like just sipping on it, it's almost like having some nice bourbon, uh, neat. Like yeah. Just sipping on it while you're. You know, watching your favorite show. So I always equate this beer to is a liquor because you're just sipping on it, letting it open yeah. up and, and blossom. This isn't something I would open all the time. No, this is a special occasion beer. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I feel like you save these for yeah those occasions where you just buy, pull something very nice out to sip on. Yep, absolutely. Um, I probably reach for a barrel aged stout before this, probably depending on what I'm into. But uh, I don't know. I, I can I think I can confidently say fresh. I'm not a fan of this. I don't think. I, I, the few times I've had it fresh, I'm always like, I'd rather wait. It's a little bit too much. Yeah. Although, you know, like, uh, I just had, uh, you know, the 2024 uh, Bigfoot. I drank one fresh. I was like, oh, it's not bad fresh yeah. this year. Yeah. So, uh, you, never you never know. know. Uh, I don't know. How many how many times do you think people just compare this to Bigfoot? I don't That's a good question because I never have. So, I, I just never. Maybe it's just me. Maybe yeah, it's just I don't me. know. But Maybe, I think you're wrong. You're I think it's like right. when people, like, always, like, with Jack Daniels banana. That's okay. like the thing they always all right. do. So, all right. Uh, until next time, gang, uh, down in the description below, uh, all the link trees, hit us up. Uh, do you like old dogfish head? Um, you like new dogfish what's head? Your, what's your, like what's your go to dogfish, dogfish head? head? Yeah. I don't know. Tell us. That chicken stout. Out. Uh, the Utopia Sage oh, version of this. That was the cheat code because that uh, is like, it's like getting one of these and throwing the age on it. <laughs> And you can drink it fresh, yeah. and it's delicious. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know. We got one in the cellar, I think. Maybe we can uh, do it sometime. I have a couple of I don't know. So, until next time, gang. Yeah. Uh, cheers.